Okay, so previously we didn't work out the capacity of a circular water tank. Now in this video, we'll do and we'll apply the same process to determine the capacity of a rectangular water tank. Okay, and remember for this approach, again I'll do an example because an example can be a better way to understand the problem. Okay, so simple. Let's focus on this drawing which is engineering drawing and contains some, you can say 2D plan and then the profile are, you can say the long section of the rectangular water tank. You may not be that familiar with engineering drawing, so I'm going to convert this into a, like you can say, a line model. Okay, the length, which is of course 500 centimeters, the breadth, which is 300 centimeters, and then the height, that's also known, which is 2 meters, or you can say uh, 200 centimeters. Now, this, this drawing, okay, which is, uh, you can say engineering drawing is the same as this model. So I'm going to calculate the volume of the, the, this model, you can say the capacity of this model, which is going to be equal to the capacity of a rectangular water tank, uh, which is just given, okay, so simple. Now remember the total capacity of the same tank can be taken in terms of the tank volume. And the volume of tank equals the area of the base times its depth. Now, area of the base can be taken as length times breadth and then the depth, of course, which can convert the area into volume. So simple, just plug and chug in. We, we, we need some footings like the length, which is given, of course, that's 500 centimeters, or you can say 5 meters. The breadth, which is 300 centimeters, or you can say 3 meters. And then again, the depth, which is 2 meters. Just multiply these three things, we can get, of course, the tank's volume or the capacity of tank in terms of volume which is of course 30 cubic meter. You can also convert this into uh, you can say liters okay if if you multiply the volume with 1000 and of course that's gonna be 30,000 liters. You can also convert this capacity into gallons if you multiply the volume of tank with 264 and that's gonna be of course the capacity of tank which is 7920 gallons that's so simple okay 